My name is Janet Fredericks. I'm with the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. Um, I manage a, a real-time cabled coastal observatory, and I uh, am a project, project manager, information systems person uh, who deals directly with the scientists. We do all sorts of biology, uh, fluid dynamics, air-sea interaction. Uh, so we provide ports for people to plug into, but we provide the core data. And as you put data out into the world, um, you take that connection away from the scientists that you know and who know you, and you, you lose that knowledge content. So I'm very encouraged to have the opportunity for research and building blocks to be built that enable a data provider to put data out in some kind of adopted standard and have brokering uh, and knowledge and collaborative environments being able to be created such that uh, I put it out once and only once and all the information that's relevant to data quality, quality assessment can, can be made and people can create these collaborative environments with the knowledge that they need um, through the adoption of standards. So EarthCube promises to build these tools as they're defined. What does the scientist need? And um, why, how can data providers put it out once and only once and completely? So what I see in working with researchers is often the, the um, scientist has a process they're working on. The process can change, the data can stay the same. Or the data can change and the process stays the same. Or they move location. So I see uh, EarthCube as an opportunity for them to develop tools that will make them not have to do things over and over and over again, uh, and a way that they can get encourage um, data centers, uh, whether they're NSF data centers or government data, data centers working through EarthCube affiliations, uh, to go ahead and provide slicing and dicing and um, merging of data sets so that they don't have to do it all the time. I, I hope that people join in and all the needs of the community are uh, heard and responses are made and it lives and flourishes.